All right, so the next little rule that we're going to talk about is Unicode. Okay, so I'm pretty sure you have seen this online, right? So if you ever like work with a different language like Greek or Russian, you know, and there's certain things that you just can't do with your your keyboard, right? Like you don't see certain characters like you see like the well, let's say the rights or copyrights or you know, you see like maybe the enye, right? The letter N with a tilde, right? So if you don't know how to do this, right, uh, with your keyboard, you can actually do this with, uh, you know, certain codes, okay? So there's different codes that you can use. You could have this code right here. So I'm going to show you, for example, I'm going to copy this, okay? And we're going to go to create a variable to say character. Okay. Character. Okay. Here we're going to say a string. And then we put in forward slash U or um, yeah, forward slash um, U, right? Okay. So this is to write. Uh, the type of Unicode. So now we're going to paste in the code that we got from here. Okay. So to actually get the code to work, don't copy the U plus. What you're going to copy is the last four digits in the last four letters. Basically, sometimes it's numbers, sometimes it's, it's a letter. So we're going to do this. We're going to say save that. We're going to say puts character okay and then now we just run this and you'll see the character right there of the copyright okay same thing we could come here and then try to find let's see something else let's see what else we could find here like some weird icon like there's so much stuff in unicode that you can use let's see See number forms. Okay, let me see. Let's try this. Okay, and there you go. So you see, you got the little triangle boxed in okay you could even get other ones the ones that are usually gonna work are, are the ones that are uh, you know pretty simple like you know like the reserves uh, trademark copyright you know different ones from like different languages like this I believe is like um, Greek I'm pretty sure it's Greek so take this run it okay and there you go you got that character all right so this is how you work with unicode within crystal lang all right guys so i'm gonna see you guys in the next video bye